Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome back to another high definition screencast video. And to be honest, this isn't actually another high definition tutorial. Uh, this is just an example of a piece of software that I think, if you are a geek or if you are a Windows user or anyone who is like concerned about uh, the protection of their computer, I'm showing you a piece of freeware that I think you should absolutely know about. Uh, so you're looking at it right now. It's called CCleaner. Uh, it is available at ccleaner.com and right now it is what I believe to be absolutely the best maintenance software uh, for your computer whether you have uh, a laptop or a desktop. So basically what this software does is help you uh, maintain a very very clean computer whether you're editing your registry or using their cleanup tools to disable startup programs or, or just using the cleaner to just disable things or remove things that have been accumulated in your PC over time. So an example of that, if we stay under the Cleaner tab, uh, you can see under Internet Explorer, when we hit Run Cleaner, it's going to clean out all the things that are checked. So right now, uh, it's going to clean out a lot of Internet Explorer, a lot of Windows Explorer cache, a lot of uh, cache, other things like that, clean up desktop shortcuts that are unused. You can clean up a lot of things uh, that you don't feel like leaving on your computer when you shut down. So this is actually software that I actually do run on every single computer I have before I shut it down. It's absolutely critical. So you can either clean stuff under Windows or under Applications. So under Apps you can see you can clear all the things under Opera, all things under Safari, a whole bunch of things under Firefox, which I actually do like, although I do leave uh, format information unchecked. Uh, clean up Chrome, clean up, clean up uh, all these other different applications. And once you've done this, instead of just hitting Analyze, you can hit an Run Cleaner, and it'll go ahead and analyze and then run. Uh, I'll just go ahead and hit Analyze to show you. It'll go ahead and analyze your entire computer. Uh, this won't take very long if your hard drive is fast or if you have a solid state drive. And uh, once you're done with that, you can see all the things that will be cleaned. And that's a good amount of files. And you can see you'll probably remove about 47.2 megabytes just from using my computer from a few hours. Go ahead and hit Run Cleaner, and it'll clean out those 47 megabytes of files that it discovered you don't need, which is very, very nice. So I do run this every single time I shut down my computer. Another thing CCleaner does, as you can tell, is clean out your registry. Now it is called CCleaner because it's built to clean your C drive, uh, which is basically what it was meant to do, but it does have a registry cleaner, and you can check every single thing for it to go through your registry to look for, uh, installer files that you don't need anymore, uh, unused fonts, different things that are in your cache that you don't need, and obsolete software, and all sorts of things that you don't need on your computer anymore that are just active and messing up with your registry. Your registry is actually what keeps your computer really, really fast, and if you have a good solid state drive and you keep your computer organized, your, your registry won't get messed up as easily. So go ahead and check everything and hit scan for issues. And you're going to see a whole lot of things that you, you either don't need or don't want on your computer, so unused file extensions, etc. This is really cool to have or to know about. Go ahead and hit Fix Selected Issues, Fix All Selected Issues, and just like that, instantly, you saw in the background, all eight issues were just fixed, which is really nice, and you can actively maintain your registry this way. Now, being that we're also on a netbook at the moment, you're also going to want to go into Tools and just go ahead and take some of the things off of uh, the Startup folder. You don't really want a whole lot of things starting with your PC, uh, so if you go under Startup, You'll be able to see all the things that do start with your computer. I've kind of minimi minimized it already. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click and disable anything that I don't want starting with my computer. Uh, there are a whole lot of things that you might not actually want starting with your computer. That'll, that'll actually save you a lot of time uh, in terms of startup times, and especially with a solid state drive, you'll get the most out of this. Go ahead and uh, make sure you've gone through all that. You can also uninstall applications you don't use very quickly through CCleaner as well. So that's just a basic overview of CCleaner. If you have any questions about it, you can first visit CCleaner.com. And if you have any quick questions, you can leave a comment or message me through YouTube, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Until next time, this has been MKBHD with a quick rundown of a piece of software I definitely think you should just go out and get right now. The link to CCleaner.com will be in the description. So thank you for watching. Peace.